Aura, an inseparable aspect of Hunter x Hunter, and an important element that holds the key to determine victory or defeat. Among them, there is a type of dark aura that characters with overwhelming strength have, and is said to feel different and strange compared to other auras. The scene where two very experienced fighters, Netro and Zeno, instantly prepared themselves for death. Once they felt Meruem's dark aura was hard to forget, right? Hello, this is the Hunter x Hunter Institute. In this video, we will be discussing a new theory that has surfaced. Does the Dark Aura have a deep connection to the Dark Continent? If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell us your thoughts on Dark Auras in the comment section. 1. The Dark Aura Similar to Haki in One Piece and Chakra in Naruto, in the world of Hunter x Hunter, there exists a mysterious power called Aura, which can strengthen one's abilities or even heal wounds when used. It is a pretty common power that appears in many action and battle mangas, but the way the author portrays it can greatly change the reader's impression, don't you think? For example, characters with overwhelming strength like Meruem, who boasts about his unparalleled strength, and Adult Gon, who forcibly made himself grow older and slaughtered Pito, are occasionally depicted with a dark-colored aura shrouding them like a mist. In Hunter x Hunter, such dark aura is used to represent the malevolence of a character. It was revealed by Pockel, a hunter who took the hunter exam the same year as Gon, that the color of auras change depending on its attributes. Pockel, who died in the early stages of the Chimera Antart, attacked a Chimera Ant with his Nen ability, Rainbow, which transmuted his aura into different colored arrows. He shot a red and orange arrow for his attack. As the ability's name implies, it is thought that the rainbow ability can transmute Pockle's aura into seven different colored arrows. The protagonist, Gon, acquired his Nen ability in the Heavens Arena, and characters with top-class strength such as Hisoka, Krolo, and Netero are also able to utilize Nen. There are many scenes in the story where these powerful characters are using their Nen abilities, but there have not been any depictions of them with dark auras. From this, it can be inferred that dark auras cannot be emitted by ordinary Nen users. The dark aura emitted by characters with incredible strength and abilities in the series is surely something that Togashi-sensei intentionally drew. In addition, the characters who emitted dark auras all had deep connections to the dark continent. Therefore, from here on out, we will consider the assumption that the dark aura originates from the dark continent. Two. Chimera Ants In a previous video, we discussed the possibility that the Chimera Ant Queen most likely came from the Dark Continent. The Chimera Ant King Meruem and his royal guards Pito, Hoof, and Yupi were all shown emitting dark auras in the story. However, not all Chimera Ants appearing in the story are shown emitting dark auras. So we think that the ability to emit a dark aura is likely limited to the four Chimera Ants, Meruem, Pito, Hoof, and Yupi, who are the strongest among the Chimera Ants and have inherited more traits from the Chimera Ant Queen than the others. Here, we would like to review the scenes in which Meruem, Pito, Hoof, and Yupi were shown emitting dark auras. Pito first appeared in Chapter 197 and emitted a dark aura that was so terrifying that Ramit, a Chimera Ant who had become proficient in Nen after being attacked by Gon and Killua, even shuddered at the sight of it. Nen user Pockle even said, Unbelievable, what an ominous aura, suggesting that this was his first time witnessing a dark aura. In Chapter 251, Hoof emits a dark aura when using N. Nov, a member of the extermination team who was infiltrating the royal palace, saw Poof's dark aura and described it as conceiving all the misfortunes in the world. It is still fresh in our memory that Nov, who was supposed to be a strong character trusted by Netero, lost all of his hair after seeing this dark aura. In Chapter 267, Yupi also emitted a dark aura when he transformed to face Hunter's knuckle and shoot. It seemed as though Yupi's attacks that were strengthened with his dark aura had a destructive power that surpassed even Phantom Troop member Uvogan's Big Bang Impact. In Chapter 268, Netero and Zeno were caught off guard when Pito activated their Nen ability, Dr. Blythe, to heal Kamugi's wounds when she was injured by Zeno's Dragon Dive. 
and were exposed to Maruim's dark aura. Netero and Zeno, who were supposed to have the upper hand, prepared themselves for death right when they felt Maruim's aura. Furthermore, in Chapter 290, Maruim emitted a dark aura when defending themselves from Netero's 100-type Guanian Bodhisattva and First Hand. Maruim's dark aura caused Netero to keep his distance twice as far than usual. This is one of the scenes that clearly shows that Netero, who is one of the most powerful men in the series, was terrified of the dark aura, as he felt it contained terrible omens. These facts are why it can be inferred that characters such as Netero, Zeno, and Nob were prepared to die or lose their fighting spirit altogether after coming into contact with the dark aura. Killua even said that Pito's dark aura felt more disgusting than Hisoka or Illumi's when he first made contact with them. Does this mean that in the world that Gon and his comrades live in, there was no concept of dark auras to begin with? Since not even veteran fighters like Netero and Zeno have ever experienced such an aura. Therefore, it is likely that the dark aura originates from the dark continent and only some creatures from the continent are able to emit it. 3. Nanika In a previous video, we have discussed the possibility that Nanika, Aluka's alternate personality, may be a gaseous life form known as I, which is one of the five threats from the Dark Continent. In the frontispiece of Volume 33, Togashi Sensei himself states that Nanika is from the Dark Continent. Nanika was actually shown emitting a dark aura in the scene where she treated Gon, who was on the verge of death, which was the price he paid for his restriction and covenant. The characters who felt Nanika's dark aura at this time were all surprised, and even Illumi, who was obsessed with Killua, declared, I definitely want Nanika. Nanika will be mine. The fact that Illumi, whose emotions very rarely fluctuate, got so heated up about Nanika, suggests that he has never come into contact with a dark aura before and was unaware of its existence. This also supports the idea that the Dark Aura is an aura that only creatures from the Dark Continent can emit, and does not exist in the known world. 4. Wobble Wobble is the 14th prince of the Kakan Empire. She is still a newborn, which means she would normally would not be able to use Nen. However, in Chapter 358, an ominous Dark Aura begins to emit from a sleeping Wobble. And Kropika, who was on the phone at the time, turned around involuntarily at the presence. Why did Wobble, a human who seems to have no connection to the Dark Continent, emit a dark aura? We think that the secret lies in the urn that is used in the seed urn ceremony. In the last frame of chapter 350, the urn is drawn emitting a dark aura. This urn was conjured by the first king of the Kakan Empire and possesses the 14 princes with a guardian spirit beast. So the dark aura emitted by Wobble may not have been emitted by Wobble herself, but rather by the guardian spirit beast born from the seed urn ceremony. The first king who conjured the urn for the seed urn ceremony, which emitted a black aura and possessed each of the 14 princes with a guardian spirit beast, and boasted about his tremendous abilities, may have originated from the Dark Continent. However, there has been no one other than Wobble among the Kakan princes that has been showing Dark Aura emissions so far. Therefore, the Dark Aura felt by Kropika in Chapter 358 is likely the Dark Aura that leaked out of the Guardian Spirit Beast, which likely comes from the Dark Continent because Wobble cannot control the aura as a baby. 5. Adult Gone in a previous video, we theorized that Gon's transformation into adult Gon through Restriction and Covenant is not a specialization type Nen ability. In Chapter 305 of Volume 29, Gon releases a dark aura towards Pito who says, I can't bring Kite back to life. And as a result, Gon transforms into adult Gon. Pito, who also similarly emits a dark aura, was afraid of Gon's aura, weren't they? Gon had never emitted a dark aura up until this point. It is strange that Gon, who is not from the Dark Continent, was able to emit a dark aura. However, what if Gon is the son or descendant of Don Freaks, who is currently believed to be on the Dark Continent? In the Yu Yu Hakusho series, which was written by Togashi Sensei before Hunter x Hunter, the protagonist Yusuke struggled in his fight against a powerful Sensui. 
but was eventually able to defeat him when a powerful demon, Ryzen, who Yusuke happens to be a direct descendant of, took over his body. Based on this precedent, even though it is somewhat of a stretch, if we assume that Don is Gon's father or ancestor, then Togashi Sensei may have intended to follow the story flow. 1. Gon could not defeat Pito in his normal state. 2. Gon draws out the same power as Don, who is in the Dark Continent. This means he successfully transforms into adult Gon by emitting Dark Aura. 3. Gon defeats Pito. Based on this, we think that the Dark Aura is something that creatures from the Dark Continent harbor. But what do you think is the case? If each aura color has its own attributes, the Dark Aura, which intimidates those who see it, may have a characteristic of pressure or intimidation, similar to Haki from the One Piece series. The Dark Aura is shrouded in mystery, except for its ominous nature. Will the mystery of the Dark Aura be revealed in the Dark Continent arc? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. We'll continue to post videos to show how great Hunter x Hunter is, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all for today. See you all again in the next video.